Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Morning Inspiration and I am, this is your girl Yvonne Michelle and I am here to inspire you this morning. Good morning, good morning Instagram, good morning, good morning Facebook uh, family. There we go. Slight technical pitch this morning. <laughs> Pre-recorded show it is not. This is live and direct. I want to welcome you all this morning. How are you feeling? For those of you who are just logging in on the replay, do not forget to put your hashtag uh, replay and leave your comments in the comment thread. Uh, this is Thursday morning, Thursday inspiration, Thursday morning. Now, all week we've been looking at manifestation. We've been looking at manifestation because of a, a message that I got earlier on, well, late last week, in regards to how am I manifesting? Because you can see, you can see that I'm doing things. And so, I thought it would be a good idea to do a breakdown over the five days to teach you guys how to manifest and you to put your, your stuff into action. This is an action-based page. We are dealing with action. That's what we do. We, we speak it, we plan it, and then we see it in come to existence. And that's what I want for you guys this morning. I want you guys to be able to let me just put that on. Um, I want you guys to be able to manifest, start manifesting things in your lives, what you need. And right now, because of the current times that we're living in, we need this. We need these keys. We need to be able to manifest some stuff in some good stuff in our lives. There's a lot of negativity going around. We need to be projecting positivity. We need to be pushing that forward, pushing that agenda of moving forward and growing our own, building our own wealth. This is something that I'm really big on, guys, and I will keep pushing this. It's really important that we build our own wealth. Right, so guys, if you've got any comments, do remember, I will read them out at the end of the session. Right, so I am going to jump into it, right into it, because we've been going through this over the last uh, few days. And uh, in, in day one, Monday, we looked at thinking about it. So we looked at how we have to think about it. We have to have clear vision. We also looked at uh, day two was to create it, create it in your mind. If you can see it, then it's achievable. If you can see it, then it, it can you can do it, you can achieve it. And then we said yesterday it was about write it, write it down, making that vision so crystal clear. Now, if you've missed those uh, other three days, I'm going to suggest you go back and go back on those days, take some notes and start using those those. Um, strategies for you so that it will work for you. So the next one today, today's one is just calm. Today's one is watch it. Yeah, it's literally watch it. So when I say watch it, because yesterday, one of the things that, that we identified is to write the vision down and to see it every day and start to speak that vision, start to look at it and say, right, this is it and make that declaration. You decree it and you declare it out of your mouth. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. What we speak comes to fruition. What we speak is what, what we bring to us. So if we constantly speak negative, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, can't do it, you'll never be able to do it. Because if you are, if you can, if you say you can, you can. And if you say you can't, equally, you can't. So we need to watch what's coming out of this mouth. So... So yesterday we were looking at the writing it down. So now, so we're in that writing it down, it was writing it down, but also declaring it and, and professing that and making it go into the universe, into the atmosphere, it's right? So it would bring it back to you. So now it's about watching it. Now, the other day, uh, last week, I think it was, I used an analogy of a plant. I had a tomato plant. And I'm just starting to grow things in terms of, vegetables right and what I want you to think about today is your pot the empty pot the empty pot you put in the compost you put and then in the compost you put it, the seed in the seed goes into 
the ground into the compost and it's buried. You can't see the result. You can't see the result, can you? But by faith, you watch that thing grow. Do you hear what I'm saying? By faith, by faith in faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence is not seen. So there's no evidence of what you are saying. There's no evidence of what you are declaring, what you are professing, what you are trying to manifest. There's no evidence that this thing's going to come. But you have to use and exercise your faith now, your belief in what you're saying, your belief in you. Yeah. So this is this is something that that we 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 as people, especially especially black people, we forget. We forget this, that faith is the substance of things that are hoped for, but the evidence is not seen. So this is the hardest part because there is no evidence. It's, it's, you're looking at a plant, you know, you've planted the seed but you can't see anything. But what happens is that inside that seed, underneath that ground, there are things going on that you can't see. And it works the same for your manifestation. Once you speak it, once you've written it down, once you start showing you, pushing your energy that way, you don't see it straight away. But you have to believe that you believe that you believe that you believe that this thing is going to come to pass. You've got to believe that it's going to come to fruition. Hey, Fever is riding me, guys. So please excuse me, wife and my nose. It's not the most um, loveliest thing to see, right? So what I'm saying is there is no evidence, but you've got to watch your vision and you've got to watch. You see this mouth? You've got to watch it because you will either build your thing by this or you will tear it down yourself. This is not about anybody else coming at you and saying things about you and doing things to you. This has got nothing to do with anybody else. This is about you and your vision and your belief about you. All right. So my thought, you know, this is supposed to be thought. It's a Thursday thought. My thought is that if you to keep your eye on the prize, that's my thought. Keep your eye on the prize. Yeah. And make sure that you speak life into that thing. Speak life. Speak life. So watch it. Keep watching it. Declare you've declared it, then you're going to watch it and watch what happens. I'm telling you, you've got to believe you cannot allow any of the ninis to come in to your mind, right? And this is why yesterday I said to you, when you've got the vision, write it on, write it on your mirror, write it downstairs on the on the fridge, write it in the sitting, write it everywhere. So if that nini voice comes in to say you can't, you've got something right there in your vision that will pull you back to where that you need to be. Because, guys, you have to be your biggest supporter now. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. You have to know that you know that you know that you know that this thing can be manifested and it's got your name on it. OK, one, um, I think Lizzie Lorraine said um, yesterday or the day before, she said she's. it's like putting an order in uh, at Boohoo. You put your order in, it's accepted, then you're waiting for the delivery. This is the delivery time. We're waiting for the delivery. So with, with our clothes, we know that the delivery time, we set the delivery time. Now we don't know, but we can still use our energy. Now, this is something, this is something that, that people always comment on. How comes you've got so much energy? Because I vibrate at a high level. And if you want things to start moving, you've got to move, start vibrating higher. You have to, yeah? And that is part of your belief. You've got to know that you know that you know, even when those doubts come, even when people say you will never, yeah, but make that your springboard to say, Do you know what? I'm going to bounce on those words. They're going to be my springboard into where I need to go to. So today, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching the vision, we're believing, and we're watching the vision so that it, so right, so. 
we want to manifest. So I always say five days, five days, right? After the five days is over. So you give yourself five days. Yeah, you've written the vision down. Give yourself five days of declaring, declaring, decreeing, declaring, declaring, decreeing. Now watch it, five days. Begin to, I want you to begin after the fifth day, begin. If it hasn't manifested before the, the fifth day, that is. I want you to start to look at the synchronicities around what you've said around that vision right and around and see the synchronicities in and in the and the opportunities that arise for you to fulfill that part of your manifestation because you can't be blind about it. you've got to see you've got to open up your eyes and look around you have to be aware of what's going on around you. You've got to see it. You've got to feel it. You've got to think it. You've got to notice everything that you've got to let your uh, your senses become aware. You know, we've got five senses. Let the five senses become aware of what, of what is around you because it's what's around you that's going to help the manifestation. You can't do this blindly. You've got to be aware. Awareness is key. Yeah, so we're working through this. This is the fourth day. So we're watching it now. And in our watching, we are aware of everything that's going on around us. And we are looking for the opportunity for the manifestation of what it is that we've declared from the Monday, from the beginning. So, guys, you made a declaration on Monday. What was it? And are you using these tools to bring forth what you want to manifest? It, you might want to manifest a new business. You might want to manifest a husband. You might want to manifest, you know, a, a, a new show. It could be anything. Yeah. It could be anything that you, you want to do. These are the steps in order for you to fill it. Manifestation is real, guys. We have the power within us. I, I, I will keep saying this, that we are power full, which means that we are full of power. We just need to know how to activate that power that works in us. Yeah. Because remember last week when we spoke, the, our affirmation was, I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think according to the power. That's the power that works in us. Yeah. And that's what we learned last week. That was our that was our affirmation. And you can still use. I know that some of you are still using that affirmation this week. It's a lifetime affirmation because you, you're full of power. We are all full of power. So it's about activating that power, that source and becoming that source to do that exceedingly abundantly above all. How, how crazy is that? We can do that exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. So that means that we can actually do more than what we think we can if we give ourselves a chance. So this is about manifesting, manifesting those things that we need. It might be a ministry that you're, you want to manifest. You want might want to be a preacher. You might want to be an evangelist. You might want to, there might be something that you want to do. You have a burning desire. You might want to help women um, in a crisis center. You might want to be an author. You, there are uh, endless amounts of things that you can manifest but it's up to you. You are the captain of your ship. So I'm suggesting that you now arise, arise with your thinking, arise and look for the synchroni synchronicities and opportunities that will arise now. So now you know what you're looking for. You know what you're looking for. So these, these tips are really worthwhile and will and can change your life. Okay. So those are the tips for today. The, my thought is that we really have to watch what we say. You know, it's not about, it's not so much about what other people say about us. It's what we say about ourselves that count. So I'm just going to go into, I'm going to go into the feed and I'm just going to see what, what you guys are saying this morning. I know that Barbara said, I could, I definitely relate to this Yvonne, as this strategy I'll just bring it up on the screen. As this strategy is working for you, and I'm beginning to see the fruits appear. Continue to speak my vision into existence and working every day towards my end goal. Boom. Absolutely. Barbara's on it. 
she Barbara is on it hardcore and is seeing the results. And this is this this confirms what I say. If you put the work in, if you put the sweat in, if you put the toil in, you will see the results. You really, really will. You will begin to see the fruit of your labor, and your labor can be very, very fruitful. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm a living, living testimony right now, really a living testimony of how things, I'm just bringing up guys the screen, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking to, for your, what your comments, right, right, okay, so he'll just say, so we've got lots of people on this morning, good morning, good morning, um, Amina saying, yes, she mentioned the importance of energy this morning. Absolutely. Your energy is everything. Your energy is everything. Um, he'll just saying, yes, it, uh, it till you feel it and then you will see it. Absolutely speak it until you feel it. You, you've got to see it here first. You've got to see it in your mind first. And then you begin to nurture it like you nurture a plant. I'm learning, I'm learning this more so than ever. I've got a tomato plant and it was a tiny, tiny thing. I think I showed it to you last week or the week before. If you see that plant now, I have to get it, give it a bigger plot off. It's growing, but that started from nothing. And so what I'm saying to you is whatever you want to manifest, you might think, how is this possible? And I, you know, I just, it's so big. I just can't see how. Don't worry about the how. The how is not your business. It's not your business. The how will always come. You have to believe that. The how will always come. It's none of your business. All you have to do is identify what you want to manifest. Put that seed in the ground and water it. That's it. Literally. So literally, 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 literally. Um, Debbie McIntosh saying, I love the affirmations. It's it's about consistency, not just for a one-time event. Absolutely. We have to do this again and again and again. We've got to keep believing. If we don't believe in ourselves, why is anybody else going to believe in what we're doing? You've got to believe it more than ever. Yeah. Your belief has to grow. And then with your belief, you put strategy with your belief. And then when you put strategy with your belief, then you get results. So, guys, watch. I know you. some of you guys are watching me. I know you're watching and you're seeing what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing is I'm manifesting like crazy. There are some things I'm manifesting you guys haven't even seen. And, and it's like I've just tapped into this thing and it's working. And so my thing is, is, is if it works for me, it will work for you. All right. Olivia Jones says, affirmation is wonderful. And when it becomes your daily vocabulary with the actions of your desires, it works. Absolutely. There's some new people here today. Hello. Good morning. Because there's some names I'm not recognizing. Good morning, Debbie McIntosh. Again, she says, it's about never giving up. Fall down seven times and get, get up at eight. Absolutely. Absolutely. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. Because actually, the, the falling... Let me just say this as I've, I've, I've gone over time, but it doesn't matter what I, I will say with this, ladies. And it is mostly ladies. I know that there may be some gentlemen watching. Is that when you fall, right, this is the beauty of when you fall, you hurt yourself, right? It's painful. And it's not easy. But that is the time when you learn the greatest lessons. That is the time when you fall, when you hit the pain point, that's the time where you get the source of power. And, and sometimes we don't want to go through the pain. We don't want to go through the things that are, that are, that are, are you know, are, are, are hurtful. But in that, those are the times when we grow the most. So never despise the pain. All the pain is telling you is to pay attention inward now. There is something that you, I, we need to learn in that moment. Right? That's all it's telling us. And I've got 
is it Dor Dorita here? I've got someone on, on, on our Instagram. Good morning. It says manifestation happens on a higher vibration and frequency. Investing in positive words. Absolutely. Got to raise the frequency. Got to raise the frequency. <laughs> and Lolly Bailey saying, you try not to fall again. How we don't, how we learn from our lessons of, from the fall is to learn the lesson. Learn the lesson in which the, why the fall came in the first place. If we fall down again, we fall down again. And that means that we never learned the lesson in the beginning, right? So everything that we do is a learning ladies and gentlemen, is a learning. We must learn, but we must also know that in order to manifest, we have to raise the level of our frequency in our vibration. And that comes down to this, and it comes down to this, and it comes down to this. So mind, mouth, and action. That's what it comes down to. Without the, with those three things, remember yesterday I talked about the key and how it's got the notches and we've got notches. We're learning, we're growing. The notches of the key is when you push it in, you turn it, 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 it locks in with the other side and it opens. These are strategies. This is what strategy is about. It's about the key, having the key to unlock what it is that you need. OK, so we've got a message. Here. I had a friend who said she felt so low that she fell off the floor. But now, but, you know, she got up and is doing great things. It's all about getting back up. Absolutely. It's, but hear, hear this, hear this in the getting back up, hear this in the bouncing back. If you don't learn the lesson, you're going to fall back down again. So one must learn. It's important. It's important. We've got here uh, pain and hurt are humbling. They often redirect us and open our eyes. It's a physical if it's physical or emotional pain. Absolutely. In the learning, the learning will direct you in the way that you need to go. That's what the learning does. And that's what we need. Sometimes we get in the lesson, we're hitting barriers and we keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. But what we need to do is pay attention. That's all. Pay attention. Let your your all of your senses. You, you, we know what the five senses are. Let them arise. And then look at the situation. Look at the situation. Good morning to everybody. Listen, guys, we're over time. We are over time. Um, but, uh, you know, it looks like... <laughs> these sessions maybe I might need to do some other sessions that are a bit more interactive where I can answer questions and maybe we can have more of a dialogue let me know if that's something that you would like um to see happen but in the mornings it's supposed to be a quick burst of inspiration and then I'm gone so guys I'll be back here at 9 a.m tomorrow morning please do join me for step five of manifestation. Also, just to let you know that today at 4 p.m. we have Let's Cook, which is a cooking, an interactive cooking show where you learn how to cook in a healthy manner, especially those who are on the borders or are have type 2 diabetes, heart disease, um, high blood pressure, um, things, those kinds of ailments and other related um diseases um we are doing let's cook at 4 p.m i will be with chef lyndon wissart the inspired diabetic um i'm gonna do one more one more before we go olivia joseph says when we focus on trying not to fall again but that's that's not what we must focus on as you rise you will be, keep falling as mistakes will always occur it's a journey absolutely Absolutely. Count, don't try not to fall. If you fall, learn from the fall and get up. That's it. Get up and learn from the fall and move on. Get up quickly. If you stay down, don't stay down long. Yeah. It's all in the getting up, bouncing back, getting up, rising up. And in this, we still rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we still rise. Listen, You've had your affirmation. Well, I actually have done an affirmation this week, but the affirmation from last week works well with this. And I would say that we keep doing it.
I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think. The caveat is though, it's according to the power that works in you. So what is your power? Get it working because you are full of power. And on that note, I'm leaving you this morning knowing that you are powerful. Okay? All right. I shall see you tomorrow morning at nine for morning inspiration. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. Love you lots. Ciao. Stay safe. Ciao, ciao.